Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And she wanted to do a video talking about Masters of the Universe Revolution. I do not care. I did not watch it. She watched it. I saw about two minutes and I noped out. But she's going to talk about it. She's going to inform me as to what uh, happened in Kevin Smith's latest masterpiece. I just wanted your reaction. Okay. Well, my reaction at this point is complete apathy. Uh, especially given all the drama that we had to go through because of that asshat. But let's we're gonna let's talk. talk we're gonna it. talk about it. But before we get into any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Uh, so yeah, you you suffered through it this morning. I did. I watched it. It doesn't take that long because the episode's like thirty minutes. There's only five of them. I I walked through the living room. I caught a glimpse of it, and uh, I noped out because they had Andra. And she she was very much in uh, full Riri Williams mode. Uh, she had a mech suit. She's talking about how she makes she's the bestest and makes all the tech and and she's the man at arms. Yeah. Now. Oh my gosh, the whole show. <laughs> if you didn't hear she's man at arms like at least three times an episode, you didn't watch the show because don't you know she's man at arms? Because she's man at arms. We mentioned she's man at arms. Also, <laughs> it reminded me of Bill from Doctor Who because oh I'm a God. lesbian. Because I'm a lesbian. Come man at arms. Um, but I'm not going to spoil too much about it first. We'll talk about some stuff in general and then we'll go to the, to the, I'm actually going to spoil the whole damn thing. So you can, if you don't want to hear it, then you can turn it off then. I, I think you've already spoiled the whole damn thing. Cause it sounds like it was all the rumors were right. Yeah. All the rumors were true. Well, one so. was, was, there's a little bit of a caveat to it, but the rest of them, they were all correct. All the rumors oh, that we boy. said, and you know, I already knew they were correct. And the reason I knew they were correct was. There's a few people out there that are just so ass mad about us from last time that if they had not been correct, they would have been down our throats with both feet saying how we were a bunch of liars and we're full of shit. They were all crickets when I put those rumors up. So I knew they were already correct because I didn't get any reaction from those people. Had they been incorrect, we would have heard all about it. Like, uh-uh, clownfish. We You're got, a, we got a screener. We get to interview, we get to interview Ted Biaselli and and, and, I know. I still and, find that suspicious. I'm sorry. It's very you suspicious. You have people that are like always, you clownfish are liars or terrible people and suddenly getting screeners and interviews. But okay. Ted, You know, Ted, that apparently is just a coincidence. I will, I will, uh, I will give you an open invite, Ted. If you'd like to come on our show, on our podcast, on the d -res, where we interview people who make things, you have an open invite. I would love to talk to you. But you will be asked, we will ask people to ask, give you, give us questions to ask you. And Absolutely. you will be asked the hard questions. And that's the, that's the caveat. They don't want to be asked the hard questions. But we actually have an audience. We have a platform. People will watch the episode. I know, right? Know. So, so. Um, was the show good? The show was significantly better than the last show. Okay. I'll start with that. The show was significantly better than last time. Uh, there was definitely notes were taken. They said they made changes based on fan feedback. And I do believe that they did. It was, it flowed better. It made more sense. It was shorter. I think it was shorter because they, when they condensed all the, took all the bloat out of it that Smith wanted to put in it, it probably brought it down to a, a more reasonable, um, you know, story. The characters acted like themselves uh, for the most part. Uh, it flowed a lot better than last time. We didn't have Skella Boner going on and all that oh, bullshit. God. Um, um. Again, the rumors I, I mentioned in the other video were true. They, uh, which I figured a lot of them I'd already heard. Um, I heard part of it. The, the show was definitely an improvement over last time. Now, but while I'm saying that, I am going to say, I'm trying to be fair. And I'm going to be fair about it when we get to spoilers and talk about it. My issue is I'm trying very hard to be fair, but I'm also not going to lie in saying that I am very still jaded. And it's bittersweet because had they fucking listened the first time, Instead of getting their their you know, grown ass man panties in a bunch and twisting up their nutsack and shoving up their own asses, they would have had a better show to begin with. But they are too busy coming off from on high to tell everybody that we were you know meant to mock us and say that we're full of shit and then and then like tell all this lies and then trying to damage control and all this other stuff. If they had just if they had not done that, if they had not tried to gaslight people, I think I would be less. Um, jaded right now. But all we have had since then was gaslighting. Smith blocked Neon. Probably blocked me. No, he didn't block me. He I didn't checked. block you. He didn't block me. They never blocked me. I'm the bigger threat here. I don't in, give this, a shit. in this situation, I, I'm the bigger threat. I am so, I am so fucking over it because, uh, because of the drama. Like, I, I, I'll be honest. 
from what you're telling me, it does sound like they actually listened to fan feedback and they, they actually tried to improve it. They, they, I'm being completely honest, they did. But because of the fucking drama, 99.9% .9 of it is Kevin Smith's fault. Well, okay. that's why I think he's been silenced. Uh, because of the fucking drama, I'm not even going to give it a chance. I don't give a shit. And you know I don't what? care how good it is. You, Fuck them. You are not alone. A lot of people are saying that. A lot of people say, I don't care if it's good. I'm not watching it because um, of what happened last time and because they flat out like lied and then they yeah. lied to our faces and then they turned around and then acted like, you know, pompous asshats. Oh, on we top got of it. fucking dragged. We still get dragged by people that are smoking meth or something. It's like we literally told you everything that happened in this show. You know, well, the only the only the only hang up people have was the Andra Tila thing. But it was very clear they were setting them up as a couple. They were in the first half of the first series. And again, the information I got came from someone who had the scripts in hand. and was just going by. what. And we it, also specified we only had the first couple of the first like three or four episodes. Yeah, we mentioned we made that clear. Like and we knew the we didn't know the whole show. Even Grace Randolph, even Grace Randolph. Was like, it's very clear. You guys were definitely queer baiting. It was very clear that Andra and Tila were going to be a thing in in the first half of the first series. So we were not wrong. Fuck you. He-Man was killed off and sidelined in his own show. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. That all happened. I'm sorry. And their excuse to keep going, what was called Masters of the Universe, not He-Man. Uh, it's I'm always like, been Masters of the Universe. the cheapest ass cop-out, <laughs> fucking bullshit, <laughs> whatever. Is. Ever like, well, you know, it, it, it doesn't change the fact if you had just been honest and told people, hey, what happens if He-Man gets, you know, rem temporarily removed or depart, you know, and they have to they have to do what they can to, to the masters have to step in. People would have watched it. Yeah, and that's what we said. It was it was setting expectations. But beyond that, like by that same logic, because I know Kevin Smith is a comic book fan. Well, it's called Detective Comics. You can take Batman out of it and put another detective in, right? Uh, Action Comics. You can take Superman out of it. And put somebody else in, right? As long as there's action that's in the true. comics, you're not lying, that's right? That's true. Right? That, that's a, that's you're the same right. fucking logic. That's a very good example. So anyway, people are going to be like, get to the point. Get to the point. Okay. So the show, is it's significantly better than last time. Definitely. They tried to fix some of the stuff they, they messed up. It's kind of like Rise of Skywalker. Now, I didn't watch Rise of Skywalker. I still haven't seen it. Um. A lot of people don't like it either way. But I'm saying it's a good it's a good movie, but I'm saying they they tried to walk it back to fix things with the the fans, and I don't know if it's going to work because people are very very pissed. But did yes. they walk stuff back? Yes. Did they make the characters act like themselves? For the most part, yes. Did they try to make a story that felt very much like the old show? I would say yes. But they're also still trying to tie it into something else, it seems like. But that's, a, yeah, we'll talk about The that. dialogue I overheard, I thought was really cringy. No, but here's I mean, the thing, though. The 80s show had that in it. Well, they, it was, they but get, it was for kids. You know what I'm saying? They need to have so. snort more, too. He only snorted, like, once or twice. I was like, the Torak, he's supposed to be snorting a lot. Well, he didn't, He it depends, like, the Shira version, yeah, the 2000X version. Well, that's true. Just... 2000X, which I still think is the superior version. Oh, anyway. that's the best, you, that's you, the best you, version. You don't have to agree. And again, I, I, I want to state from the beginning. If you like this show and you like the last show, you are completely allowed to like it. Like, I don't care if you liked it. Like, I have absolutely nothing against you if you did. Like, I don't feel that you're a terrible person. I don't feel – the only problem the only problem we have is if you liked it and you are actively going out there trying to attack those who didn't, trying to harass those who don't like it. Every time someone says, I didn't care for it, you're jumping down their throat. If you're one of those people, well, fuck you. But the rest of you, you know, you're allowed to like it. Like, it's cool. Like, most people don't, don't care. But people are allowed to not like it. And that is the biggest problem we've had. And I think between Kevin Smith and the, the overzealous sycophant fan, fans... The psycho fans. Yeah, they're the fans. That's the psycho like, fans. That's like cocksucker and sycophant combined. They're psycho fans. The psycho fan fans. That's a new term. That's going to fan, lexicon. That's I'm a new on term. cold medicine, and I, if I don't make any sense, I'm sorry. I'm really out of it. Oh, that today. sounds like a new He-Man character. Psycho, psycho fan. fan. Okay, the psycho fans. Um, <laughs> it's like leech. It's a redeco They have done leech. more damage to this. Leading up to it. Yes, 100%. Then anything else would have done. If, if, if Smith would have kept his mouth shut, yep. if they hadn't gone, the powers that be hadn't gone out of their way to try to cause, you know, more issues. And then the fans that, that they, that you know, that they kind of encouraged to rally around and, and, and harass people. Um, if those people hadn't done that, I don't think it would be where it's at. Um, but if you just want to know if it's a good show, it is much better. It's more, more like the original. It has like a lot of jokey elements. So it's not as serious. I mean, there's a lot of seriousness to it, but it's not 
it's not up its own ass as much as last time, which was clearly the Kevin Smith parts. Um, he's basically turned himself wrong side out at this point. He's up there so far. But if you want to watch it, it is better. So go ahead. But if you don't want to watch it or you want to know what the hell happens, this is going to be a long video because I took notes. I literally have a notebook. I have it all. So I'm going to spill the tea. Uh, if you want to hear it, leave now. If you're still here, you deserve what you get. I don't want to fucking hear it. Okay, so I'm going to run over what happened. This is the first time Neon's hearing it. Yeah. So we're going to get his reaction. I heard parts of it. I I, I heard the spoilers. I, I Look, I, I just want to preface this with I, I'm in a place right now with Masters of the Universe where I am with Star Wars where it was a great thing for its time and because of the people in charge of the franchise right now I don't give a shit anymore I don't care what the well, fuck their behavior they do with it. Just jaded it. I don't care if He-Man wears a it. fucking tutu and you know gives it to Cringer from behind I don't give a fuck what they do with their it their stinky taint their stinky taint yeah I mean as far as I'm concerned this, this whole uh, Kevin Smith series is a one-off. It's not canon. It will be decanonized as soon as Mattel gets a brain fart to reboot He-Man with a movie or whatever the hell they're going to do. The franchise, they they had a chance to bring it back. They've already buried it because the toys are already on clearance at Ollie's. Like, nobody gives a shit. And the good one, which was, I think, the, the 3D one, which I was shocked at how much I liked that show, they pulled the plug on that one already. Yeah, but they but that's going to come up. But we're going to get to that. So let's start with the with the uh, review. Get your popcorn because this is going to be a little bit. Fuck, I need alcohol. Um, you might actually. Okay, so they made sure He Man was in the first five minutes. Oh, boy. they made sure they okay. did that. Okay. Okay. Uh, they start off with they're trying. They're basically going down to you know the under realm to get uh, Scareglow there, and they're trying to get Clamp Champ and um. Uh, Rafisto's items so they can, you know, their, their their souls are tethered to those down in the underworld and they want to take them out of there. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. So they drop their loot when they died? Apparently. And is he that, collects is it. Is that how, how this works now? Uh, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. So, okay. and then you then you find out that, you know, Rhea Williams is, you know, man at arms. That's and she what embedded I the, in And on. she did the ship. She built the, the ship they're on, and oh she my... builds all the tech, and she's a tech chick. God, I hated that. And she's she... the smartest smarty pants ever. I was out. Like, I listened to it a little bit. I walked through the living room. I watched it, and it's like she pops out of the man-at-arms armor, which looks an awful lot like the Ironheart armor. She's like, did I mention I built the ship, and I'm the man-at-arms, and I'm the smartest ever, and I'm the bestest ever? Hey, Chief. Hey, guys. How you doing? I'm the new character that does everything well, um, when it really should have been. Clamp Champ, because in the 2000 X series, they were going to turn Man at Arms into a Snake Man, and he was going to be a Snake Man, and he was going to be a bad guy, brainwashed or reverted to his, I forget, it was, either that was his true form all along, and they reverted him or something, but he was going to be sidelined. They were going to bring Clamp, Clamp Champ in. Instead, the only black character in the original show, they fucking kill him off in the first one. Well, that's okay. There's a woman in now. But there's a woman now. So it's all good. Yeah, so that's... Um, <laughs> she's man at arms. So, of course, you know, basically Adam goes down with Orko's help. He gets in. And then he, you know, basically says he was going to make... A, he wanted to make a deal with Scarecrow and negotiate for those two because they didn't belong there. And, of course, Scarecrow said, hell no, I'm not going to do that. And they have a big battle down there, and then Buzz Off and Snout Spout and Ram Man and Rio Blast, and all those people show up because they have to make sure you get as many characters as possible. Oh, I forgot to mention the intro, too. They had to make sure, like, they had all the old classic comic art and box they, art and they poster did that with art. the original one, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Member Berries. Member Berries. Um, so they end up getting that's when the, the scenes we saw. You, if you watched the earlier trailers, you saw the scene where Randall was there in the mech suit helping um, He Man fight, you know. Scare glow. That was from that. Okay, so they get the they get hold of it. They get hold of two items and they get out. The sorceress comes down and helps them get out and then seals it off. And they have to make sure that they're they're really ramping up the Tila Adams stuff in this one. They are. They, they, you know, you said there was it was wrong. We're ramping that up. Tila's acting like not a fucking bitch. Um, she's acting like Tila, and Tila and Adam they keep making sure like she's like. He's like to her, like, oh, oh, my sorceress. And she's like, I'll follow your lead, my champion. I mean, they almost made her too, like, you know, oh, wherever you go, baby. They almost made her too much the other way a little Put bit. Put your sword in my sheath, my champion. And basically. And they're like, you know, following each other over each other. And then, of course, then Randor collapses because Randor, they're going to off him with a heart attack. <laughs> All right. Randor gets diabetes. 
I'm eating too many fucking cookies and he dies. They, they, they yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like so he survived all these wars and whatever. Okay. So Randor is on his deathbed and here Marlena and, and Duncan knew and um, then tell Adam. Well, well, and well, Adam well, doesn't act like a fucking little cunt and slam things and act like a little bitch over not knowing the secret. Well, I was just sitting there thinking like, you know, a robot chicken killed Optimus Prime off with prostate cancer. So I guess Randor <laughs> can die from diabetes. Well, or Spider-Man killed off MJ with a uh, radioactive prostate. spider spunk. So there we oh go. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, so, you know, he's he's like, you know, when he's talking about how that's where you see that scene where Adam can't be both, you know, the champion and and the king, he has to pick one, sword or scepter. He can't be both, even though in the past they have been both. They rectify that by saying that while people have in the past, my father didn't want me to do both. Um, king Grayskull. <clears throat> yeah. King so Grayskull. They're <clears throat> leading into, yeah. They're leading into him dying. So while okay. this is going on, Skeletor, they bring too bad in and turn, you know, motherboard turns him into a... Uh, into one of the mech monster okay, so brainwashed what, people. Please, what the fuck is Motherboard? Motherboard works for Hordak. Okay. She's like an extension of Hordak. She's basically his right hand henchwoman. Like Shadow Weaver? Basically, she's the mecha Shadow Weaver, yes. But like Shadow Weaver is the magic. Weaver? She's not in this at all. Shadow Weaver's, because remember, Hordak's all about tech. And, well, he and was she's, a, she's in the, the original, tech but... version of Shadow Weaver. Right. Okay. okay, so I have to wonder if this is a rights issue. Would they consider Shadow Weaver a, like a filmation Probably. character, a Shira character more than. So that's Most how they're going to sidestep it because it would have been Shadow Weaver. And Shadow Probably. Weaver was around in the original series, even though Hordak had like a tech empire. But go on. Well, it's on. Motherboard. And, and like she's the mother of the religion and Hordak's the father of the religion and all this other blood. That's blushing. fucking weird. Okay. So they keep over playing Tila and Adam and the how lovey dovey they are, even though they're still not supposed to tell each other yet. We're straight. We're straight. Um, Everybody and look. Then, we're straight. Look, Neon. We're straight. So Tila decides because Randor's going to die and she doesn't want him to have to wander around because that's what they're explaining it as. If you don't go to the underworld, your souls just wander around Eternia until you d dissipate, basically. So she wants to bring Paternia back and she tries to do it, but she can't do it because she's not strong enough. So she goes and finds the ghost of her mom who's still wandering the world. And well, she's stuck in Castle Grayskull, but you know, and then she tells her that she needs the Zorka and Havoc staffs together to to bring back Paternia. Um they Randor has a speech about their his best his wife and his son are his most important things and he dies and then Keldor shows up. Okay, so this okay. So I knew about the Keldor thing, right? So for those of you who don't know, it was hinted in the mini comics that Keldor was Skeletor's alter ego and then in the 2000 X series and in the CGI series Keldor was technically uh, Adam's uncle. So yes. he's been fighting his uncle the whole time. Um, and he becomes Skeletor. And they also a, did the CGI show that he was the uncle too. Yeah, well, yeah. I saw that. I didn't watch the whole Yeah, movie. it was, the CGI show was good. It was shockingly good. And it was very different from what I expected from He-Man, but, but it, it was actually good. it still good. felt like, it was very different. Like this one, the, the heart Kevin, of it was there. Yeah, Kevin Smith tried too hard to be a continuation, but didn't have the heart. Um, and the CGI had or the, the heart. rights to, to yeah, actually know, right? do it right, you know. So, um, from part two starts, and and you know, they basically see that you know, Keldor and Randor and their kids, and and um, their dad comes in and is talking about how they're not, you know, that that and I guess his wife was talking about how they had to sell send Keldor back to I where you he said came they from. They had to sell Keldor. No, they had to you're send the back. blue one. They're we gotta to get send them back to where he came okay. from. But the wife was like. You know, if you send him back there, you're 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 basically exiling him, and you shouldn't do it. Basically, you should change the stupid rule that says he can't be king because he's the first born, but he's not the next in line. Randor is, and basically, like you know, you can't. You know, you you need to abolish it because it's stupid, and for whatever reason, he won't because he's an asshole, I guess. So then we're going to Adam, who's going to do a speech because his dad's dead and he's going to be king. So he talks about something about his dad built him a bicycle when he was a kid. And it would look really because he didn't make the people of the, of, of the you know attorney give him up their bicycles or make him a new one. So he built him one. It looked like shit, but he never rode it. But he wishes now he did. What? Yeah. Why did? Why I'm, I'm Andre, assuming does Kevin Andre Smith build him a bike? No, like a super no. bike. But I'm surprised. I mean, Kevin Smith get a, one of his writers have not get a bike when they were a kid. I don't know. So anyway, um, while he's telling the speech, Hordak at, or Skeletor, I'm sorry, Skeletor attacks, and he has these nanobot smokes of turning people into robots. And throughout it all, you know, He Man goes after. Um, 
goes after one of the kids or goes after Skeletor gets a kid and he's trying to help this kid and while he's distracted Randor is like supposed to be like I'm gonna take over as king I'm gonna be king look I'm giving orders you do this and you do that and you do this it's kind of like it's kind of like Spider-Man with Mysterio and Far From Home where he's like look like he's like he's doing stuff and he's having on or do stuff and trying to win people over but look I'm, I'm fighting this because all of a sudden this big titan comes out of the ground and these were old titans of the old tech and all that was going on. And they look oh, like even I saw I saw that clip. They look like the Evangelion angels. I was like, wait a minute. What? Yeah, and you know, and and then well, and then somewhere among this stuff, they injected that uh, Tila goes to see um, Granamir, and Evil Lynn's there because he's dying now him. because Evil Lynn, what she when she did story paternity and the stuff she did, it hurt him, and she's trying to to convince him to give her the the call staff. And all that stuff. And he wasn't wanting to give it to her. And then Tila convinces Evil Lynn to help her because, you know, maybe you can get redemption if you do. And then Evil Lynn basically talks the, the you know, Grand Mirror to giving them the sword, the, the staff, because where he thinks he's going to be walking endlessly as, you know, no paternity. He's probably going to go to subternia because he's ultimately responsible for the one battle that happened because he gave them power he shouldn't have given them. And basically, because he's afraid of his own soul going to hell, he gives her the staff. Long story short. Well, you should have repented, Granamir. Well, he does later. So oh, um, okay, you have to repent and accept Motherboard as your savior. So all this is going on, and yeah, no, <laughs> Andra and Keldor fighting this Titan, and Keldor's be like, "Look at the king I am." He man heals the kid because he finds out the sword can reject the nanobots, and he puts the sword on the kid, and the, the, the kid gets healed. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. I said wait, on, not wait, in, on, wait. on. Okay, because all I heard was Adam puts his sword in the kid and heals him. <laughs> no, no, he puts the sword on the kid. On the kid, okay. And the kid's healed. Jeez, okay. And then Adam decides that, hey, you know, we're going to let Keldor be king. And all this other craps. So they crown Keldor. And then, you know, they give <laughs> then another place going on. Sorceress gets the staff. And then you find out that, Kel that Skeletor is disguised as Keldor. Okay, just so. checking everyone. Let me, okay, so let me, let me. <sighs> is Keldor actually skeleton yes we're gonna get to that okay because this already contra they did a comic book and i wondered about this because somebody told me before we got the list of you know the confirmed from the screeners or whatever somebody had the screener sent us the spoilers for it and somebody told me a couple of weeks ago said yeah there's going to be this keldor thing it's not going to make a lot of sense given the comics the official canonical comics that were written that were supposed to be a spin-off and backstory for Kevin Smith's show where it showed Skeletor coming from a race of skeleton faced people with skeleton faced babies and skeleton faced dogs and all kinds of crazy shit that was never in. Well, this must be one of their, we have to walk back for the fans. Yeah. Comments. Because everybody kept like the whole Keldor thing has kind of become sort of canon at this point because it was hinted at in the mini comics. And then once 2002 did it, they're like, yeah, we're just use Keldor forever. Did it better. Let's just be honest. Oh yeah. It was awesome. Man. So, yeah. um, yes, no, we're, so we're going to explain that in a bit. So then, uh, then you see Horda, Hordak and he's taking over another place and he's got the, the stone warriors or the rock warriors and yeah. he's got stone dar and he's talking about every, he's taking over 10,000 worlds and they've all had champion and no one could ever beat him. And you see like, you know, Mantana and Grizzlor and the horde people, yeah. you know, there. Cause make sure, you know, member berries. Yeah. Member berries. Yeah. Um, they plus keep, action figures. We got to sell toys. Yes, pretty much, yeah. you know. So then they're talking about, oh, and then they made sure that Skeletor made the royal boob comment in Among Here because he had to get Skeletor saying boob at some point. <laughs> they do have them act. Did he they say do... boob to Evil Lynn in the last one? Did he? Yeah, boobs are scrumptious, <laughs> Lenny. <laughs> no. Give me a battle yeah. boner, a raging he boner. Called, he called him like royal boob. Um, <laughs> Marlena, so... now that Randor is gone, I want to look at those royal boobs of yours. <laughs> mm. So, um... So Skeletor being Skeletor makes Hordak mad. So Mother Board squeezes his head. And when she squeezes... <laughs> Whoa! Wait! Whoa. Wait! It gets better! It gets better! Hold it! Hold oh, on! Swords Just hold it! And... Hold it! I she love my kid. I'm really head. excited. She squeezes his head. Wait! It... She... Oh! I thought you said she queefs in his head. <laughs> she squeezes his head! <laughs> she squeezes okay. his head. Okay. And you see his bones crack a little more. 
And and then somehow oh by God. doing that. Because she squeezed his head, it rewires him, and now he remembers being Kaldor. Apparently, Hordak at one point had tricked him into becoming Skeletor. And when he became Skeletor, he erased all the memories of Kaldor, and then he made him think he was an alien from another planet. Wait, what? what, what um, what? Yeah, that's what I said. Wait, so, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, and, and among his memories, and among his memories, he remembers uh, kidnapping uh, Adora. Okay. They don't show it as Adora, just a baby. Well, they can't. So they for, hinted for at legal Adora. Reasons, they hinted but, at Adora. Yeah. Well, I don't know though, because here's the thing: where where is the live action Shira show? We haven't heard anything for a long time. It was supposed to come to Amazon, and now we haven't heard anything. Are they getting the rights back? I I don't know. I mean, it would benefit Mattel greatly if they're going to do movies of He Man, which they talked about doing Masters of the Universe movies. It would be a huge asset to them to make sure that they have the rights to He-Man and She-Ra because some moron back in the day decided to split them up, which makes no damn sense because it's all the same thing. But you, we saw how Marvel, you know, piecemeal different characters too, you know, so. But anyway, his memories, he remembers kidnapping a baby, which would of course be Adora. Sorceress has the, the staff and now she has the snake armor because when she got the staff, of course she got the snake armor, which makes sense. Um, so basically Eva Lynn's trying to train her to use it and to do so she taunts her about liking Adam and then you get a whole bunch of comments out of, out of you know, Tila basically like, you know, because Eva Lynn's acting like she's going to go after, you know, Adam for herself and then she's like, how dare you, you know, basically a little hussy kind of thing. And then she's like, good, I just did that to make you mad so you'd use your power properly. And then while this is going on, uh, man at arms and Orko go and find Gwildor. Yeah, so that, that kind of threw me. I mean, I, I get the fan service, but because they put characters from the movie in the, the last series, like background characters, but I'm like, Gwildor, how the hell do you? Cause okay, the, so, I'm going to tell you. Well, okay, so Gwildor, just for the, the reason Gwildor exists is they're too damn cheap to do Orko. Basically, in the yes. movie, they're like, oh, we can't have this guy flying around. It's going to look stupid. So let's just, yeah, let's just put a, 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 a dwarf actor in a costume and call it a day. And it's yeah. Gwildor, not Orko. It's Gwildor, but Gwildor and Orko have to work together. Okay. So Gwildor is going to, they want him to take the sword because they have Adam's sword. And they want him to take it because Adam knows they can heal people, but they need to magnify all its power to heal everyone that's under the spell at once. They had nanobots take over them at once. But to do that, you have to amplify the sword. So they need technology now to work with the magic sword to amplify the, the, the healing powers of the sword to, to reach everyone to heal them from the hate nanobots. plague from Transformers. Right, okay. right basically. Okay. Um, and apparently, not just, just hugging it out isn't, isn't enough this time. So, so, um, the, so you told me, and I don't know if you brought this up, if you had it in your notes, but apparently Andra pushing. I, I was, I was oh, gonna we're getting there? It. Okay, okay. So when, um, basically, uh, so when Keldor, he basically convinces, Skeletor is Keldor, convinces He-Man that he needs to go take on Skeletor himself, go bring the fight to them, basically to get rid of him. So when he leaves, Andra, she wants to go with him. And he's like, no, I need you here because I need you. I need someone here, someone really smart here that can, and literally that's what it was, so that you can, you know, help if something happens. I need you to be here. I need to do this and you need to stay here. Well, she's all ass mad about it, but she gives him his, his, a little thing to put a plate to put over his other logos that it says battle armor. So she gave him the battle armor. So Andra gives him the, the new character, Shows up, does yes. the bestest, and makes yes. all the tech and gives him... Okay. Yes. All right. That's me turning my page. And Clamp Champ was right there all along. Well, it doesn't matter. She's the bestest. So, but she's because... but this, Ironically, here's where it gets fun, though. She's the cause of the mass vaccination that causes everybody <laughs> to turn into to tech. Yeah. Okay. You told <laughs> so me now, this. Now we're anti-vax. I, I about spit my food out. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So Andra the dumbass decides to vaccinate everybody, but they all get infected with right. tech. So Kaldor tells her because he uses tech too and, and she thinks he's on her side. And like, I see I see your your worth. You know, I know what it's like to be left behind. I know what it's like. I, you know, you everybody thinks that you're not good enough kind of thing. Well, I think you are and you can help me. And what we're going to do is while he man's out there thinking he's going to save everybody, we're going to give everybody the power to save themselves by vaccination. <laughs> oh my God. And it's what fucking like almost kills Eternia. Like they all get blood clots and die. Is that why Randor so, died of a heart attack? Was he, he vaccinated? He's a test subject. Oh. So everybody lines up. Jeez. All of Eternia lines up 
to get a bracelet and then a, <laughs> and then and then, a, then they, they stick they their tongue their out card. then they stick their tongue out and they're given like a like a communion of a weird like microchip thing on their tongue which then powers them up and like a crippled lady can suddenly walk and everything else and they're like look now <laughs> you're healing yourselves you're taking power back for yourselves so everybody wants the power so they're all lining oh up to get the power God. so they all get vaccinated cuz T or not Tila, Andra helps them get you know helps Keldor Skeletor trick everybody into taking the vaccine. What? <laughs> that, that literally has. That. That literally, I can't believe they did that. Literally has the nanobots in it. Everybody was joking the vaccines from oh COVID had. Oh my God! Had. Kevin Smith anti-vaxxer <laughs> confirmed. All the nanobots people were worried about. They they have them in this bracelet Holy vaccine shit, thing. Holy shit! I cannot believe they did that. They did. I cannot believe they did that. They did. So when He-Man finally gets to, to <laughs> Snake Mountain and gets broken in past all the, you know, they have all like Rick right. Lash and everybody around yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets in and then Keldor left the, or Skeletor left the crown on the seat. So then he figures out like, oh shit. And while that, while he's distracted trying to be the champion because, you know, basically, it's basically Poe. Uh, all over again from Star Wars because but he wanted to he wanted to take that thing down and he was distracted but the real hero while they were distracting him with his arrogance um I think he was going to be the champion and take down Skeletor um they got everybody vaccinated with nanobots and then Screech helps take down Castle Grayskull's barrier with powers of tech and then Motherboard comes in and takes over the castle and turns it into this <laughs> I see this looks you. like a tongue. Oh, great googly moogly. Basically. So this is what I turned Grayskull into. <laughs> it's got googly eyes. Then Adam loses power. And then Adam sees that Keldor was actually Skeletor. I think that's the end of that episode. So now... Um, they throw Marlena in jail too, but don't worry, there's a reason for it. And now Man at Arms shows up, and he's Man of War now. Not to be confused with Andre, who we've mentioned ever several times episode is, is Man at Arms. Now this sounds bad. It actually was significantly better than the last time. However, the I, bar was. was very low. No, am I being fair and honest? It was significantly uh, better than like last Rise time. Rise of Skywalker. That's what I've heard. People are like, you know what? Uh they did they did undo some of the damage. From The Last Jedi, but it's still a shit movie. Yeah, it's, it's significantly you know. better than it was. Holy shit. And a lot of uh, people will probably enjoy it. That's but, fine. good for you. But, good for you. But it it, so, it sounds worse than it actually is, but it's still, it, the bar was low. Okay. Anyway. Um, I can't believe they put googly eyes on Castle Grace. That one got me too. So <laughs> um, the Horde comes and they kidnap Orko and Gwildor who are trying to make this the sword into something else. And then um, Kelador tells um, Skeletor, because he's, he's seeing visions of him, to kill Motherboard. So he, you don't see what happens. And you see, you see um, Hordak is sitting on a cliff and, and Skeletor, Skeletek, comes up behind him with a present in his hand. He's like, I brought you a gift and everything else. And then Hordak, of course, is belittling him and telling him what a you know, idiot he is. And it's Motherboard's head in a box. Okay, that's actually funny. It was kind of. Anyway, uh, and then he's funny. basically like, you know. <laughs> I killed your bitch. Basically, and he tells Hordak he remembers who he was, basically. And you should have picked me to be your second in command and all this other shit. So then I Hordak. Love you long time. Yeah, pretty much. So Skeletor <laughs> and Hordak are fighting. And then Andra breaks into jail and releases Adam Marlena because Andra, being the smarty, smart, smart pants, she has made sure she put a tracking bracelet on Marlena's ankle so that she could be captured and lead her right to them. Because <laughs> she's because she's man at arms. Um, she's the man at arms now, bitches. So she then, just makes everything worse. <laughs> so now all the guys you saw in the earlier, like Rio Blast and Buzz Off and Snout Spout and Ram Man, they all are all under the the tech control now. Oh, so at that least they're not the dead. Play. No, no. And then Skeletor fights Hordak, and then he does kill. Well, okay, this is where the rumor is not true. Yeah, he stabs Hordak. Okay. You're, and I remember thinking, well, that doesn't mean he's dead because they're clearly setting up, they're trying to set up a, 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 a She-Ra thing, which I don't know if they're going to be able to. But And I'm kind of like, please, for the love of God, don't keep your fingers off of She-Ra. Stop fingering She-Ra. Um, anyway. I don't know. She got fingered pretty good in that last stop series. Stop fingering so She-Ra. I... Um, so they end up like, um, so Eva Lynn shows up and cuts off the Skeletor's arm because he's got the staff in his arm. Arm, okay. And then she gets the Havoc staff and she brings it to Tila. And then Tila has all three staffs and she's trying to, to, to do something with Paternia, but she can't hold on to it herself. And then meanwhile, 
um, Orko and Gruldor show up and they give they give uh, Adam his, his sword. And so while you know, Tila's up in the sky, like trying to fight holding all three staffs that emerge into one, then he jumps through these rocks in the air and then grabs her and they land on a rock and, and they does, you know, by the power of Grey Skull. And then he gets to be the He-Man that looks like the CGI He-Man. Yeah, okay, so I saw that image floating around. And Tila's now the CGI version of Tila, basically. Yes, and and Andra at arms in the mech suit kind of looks like the Duncan from the CGI show. So that's weird as fuck. And I think what's going, because there are, there, there's Even a the logo is the same logo from the CGI yeah, show, basically. Yeah, there's, there's crossover because the whoever the guy is at Mattel that's in charge, uh, you know, that's the, the guy that in charge at Mattel, in charge of He-Man. Um, it feels like this is his, like, this is his head cannon for He-Man. So he's like, I'm going to make sure that this is the He-Man cannon across every version. Now we're going to use this logo and this tech theme and this, you know, this and that. And you can see it like, cause there were certain themes and certain things that they were saying in like even Castle Grayskull, I'm looking at this. This looks like evil wind from the CGI show with that. She had the bat wings on her head and stuff. But there are certain things I think he was pushing for because he was overseeing both shows. Well, they clearly make it they're merging tech and magic. And so now everybody has tech magic power ups that look like the CGI show. Yeah. And that's what they did in the CGI. They're like, oh, yeah, we're, we're like the Power Rangers now, we, which it, it worked. The thing about the CGI show is, again, you want to talk about expectations. My expectations were very low for that. And my expectations expectations were set that this was a very, very different thing from the original. Right. Um, and it was also for kids. So I had that mindset going into it and I expected nothing. And I was actually pleasantly surprised, but in the case of revelation, it was like, we were told one thing and we're given something else. Right. Yeah. So, um, so that they come down and, and from you know where they're at or whatever. And of course we have to have a moment where everybody's like making, they're not fighting where there's a battle going on and they're all making googly eyes at, 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 Tila and, and He-Man and then Evil Lynn's like, well, I'll say it. It's like He-Man and Tila sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. What? Yeah. So then He-Man tells Orko and Evil Lynn to protect Tila so she could bring back Paternia. And then He-Man takes back Castle Grayskull with the sword. He, you know, he turns it back into Grayskull. Um, and every time he, he does something, he fights Skeletor. Every time he's, he takes a win, he takes some power from Skeletor. He ends up like with tech power powering up a sword. Okay. So um, then a bunch of Titans show up and the Horde ships show up and all this stuff's going on. So everybody's battling that shit. And then um, it looks like, you know, Tila's going to get taken out. And then um, that Grand Amir shows up and he fights off. Um, let's try, you know, he fights it off and he ends up dying. So he's redeemed. Um, turn the page. I can't he believe, dies. how many pages of notes do you have I for this? I took this the way through. I'm like, shit. I'm not going to oh forget anything. Oh my and God. And then Tila returns Paternia. Just in time, and oh, and, and, and it looks like when He-Man's um, distracted, then Skeletor attacks, and then Randor, um, uh, Ran King Randor shows up, the ghost of Randor comes back and helps He-Man fight Skeletor. His Force Ghost Daddy shows up. His so. Force Ghost Daddy shows up. And then when Preternia is brought back, a bunch of characters like Fisto and Clamp Champ and King Grayskull and all that all appear in Preternia. And then you see Randor trying to go to Preternia, but then Skeletor grabs him and tries to drag him down. But then he ends up going to Preternia anyway because, you know. Keldor. Basically, well, no, he saw, he, he's, yeah, well, Randor goes, he, he gets him away, Adam gets him away, He-Man gets him away from Skeletor and he goes to Preternia anyway. And then the sword's 100% charged up, so then he just stabs through Skeletor and turns him back to Randor. Or, fucking, oh. fucking he fucked us too many doors. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave that in. We're leaving that in. We're leaving that in. Fuck you, fuck. You know no. how many times I keep doing that? Well, There's I too like, many doors. When I, 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 I walk by the other time and you're watching it and they were, Randor was on his deathbed and you're like, well, who's the doctor? And I'm thinking to myself, it's Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> That's who it is. It's Doctor. It's like Molar. Doctor. Like, I don't know who the hell it is. That's just some dentist. random random doctor it's like More he took war. he 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 took he took the vax adam there's nothing we can do for him he's got a blood <laughs> clot i don't, I don't know, know what to say so the said, technology yeah um so he turns it back to to keldor and then you know of course the horde come out of their their, their trance of being taken like the, the people that are still working for them and then they take Wait, their the ships. horde or trans trance 
Oh, T-R-A-N-C-E, trance. trance. I'm like, wait, whoa, whoa, hey, that was a leap. Grizzler's got little bows in his hair. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Now I need a grizzler, no, and I need to put bows in his hair. Uh, I Andy, really do need a grizzler. I want one. They called up Andy Stevenson to come back and do the, write the final episode, and everybody's trans now. Okay. Mantana okay. and, and grizzler are just, like, making out in the corner. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so Leech. Oh, my God, Leech. Hands and feet <laughs> and mouth. I mean, he can take the whole horde. He can take the whole horde on at once. <laughs> He's such a whore. He's a whore whore. Anyway, um... So then uh, they all, like, leave because they came out of their trance, trance. and left. Trance, okay. Okay. And then the whole room about democracy is true because everything is destroyed. The castle is destroyed. Not, like, the, the, the castle, not the castle Grayskull, but the castle and all that. He-Man Adam decides that people should be able to vote for themselves and decide for themselves and that he's no longer going to be king and that it's not going to be a, a monarchy and it's going to be a democracy and people can vote for who their leaders are. And guess who the first person is that wants to run for office? Oh, no. Because she's a man at arms. Did I mention she's oh, a man at arms? Oh, no. Andra wants to run for office. Oh, she's going to run to be the leader President of President Andra? Yes. President Riri Williams of fucking eternity? Fuck this. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm, 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 I'm glad you gave me the the, the bird's eye view because even if it's better than the original, fuck it. It just it sounds. Keldor is in the dungeon, and then they end the show. But then they have the flat. They do have the Zodak bringing in. Now they call her. They they made sure they made sure that um, Grandma Mir tells her that she's no longer evil Lynn. She's just Lynn. She's good Lynn. She's good oh. Lynn because he says <laughs> no. He says you're good. He's like you're good Lynn because you basically saved my soul. You're good Lynn. So now I just call her. <laughs> now I just call her Lynn. Lenny. Oh my Lynn. god. Lynn. So Zodak and and you know like the cosmic Susan. And... That's like yo, know, you are the goddess Susan. You know? Ironically, my middle name is Lynn. Anyway. <laughs> and you are a goddess, by the way. That's right. I am fucking Sheer now. Um there's a comma there. Yeah, <laughs> so I hope so. I so hope everybody so. fucks Sheer now, so it doesn't matter. Everybody's um in a so thing now they make her one of the cosmic enforcers. And then Hordak, where the fuck was Zodak during all of it? Like the whole series. No, they don't explain that. That makes no damn. Okay, so if they're taking criticism into suggestion territory, I guess my biggest criticism of the first. Well, no, that's not my biggest. One of my many criticisms of the first series was if this crazy shit, cosmic level shit, was going down. Zodak in his magic chair would have been there because that is literally his only job. You only see Zodak when things are way beyond the sorceress or He-Man or whatever. Well, now Lynn, okay. good Lynn is one of them. Okay. And then Hordak is not dead, which I didn't think they would kill Hordak. That was one thing I was very, I was good questioning. Boy. Of all the rumors that I presented that turned out to all be true. And I knew that again because the, the haters who constantly are like, we're liars, said nothing. And they would have been all over it if <laughs> I was wrong. Like, ah, clownfish they would have been all over that if I was wrong. <laughs> they, um, Hordak's not dead, which of course he's not. And he's you know going to be healed by Horde Prime. Um, and then it's uh, the Spara, your implied Spara is the one that's, you know, putting him, well, it was not pledged, she's there. They put him in the tank and it's like about Horde Prime healing him. So they set up a door there again. But they set up a door without crossing into some naughty legal territory. They, they kept her with the Horde stuff and they just showed a baby being kidnapped and didn't yeah, say it was a Dora. Yeah, it was. They didn't show. But no. it was obviously a Dora. But that, that's why I think they, they can't show Shadow Weaver either. Because she, I, I think, now I'm not 100% sure, but I think with like the way the rules are, anything that like originated with filmation, they can't touch. And I know Shadow Weaver originated with filmation, but the Horde themselves, the core Horde characters uh, were Mattels. They just brought them over into Chira because Chira was, Princess of Power was basically another season of He-Man basically you know he was they in were like the, the, the secret of the sword they were together yeah so it was like and he was, always crossed over like constantly they crossed oh yeah over. it was like it was basically just another another season of he-man he was every other episode he-man was in it you know it was like revolving Different door. characters were in yeah. yeah yep so that would be it there it is i watched the whole damn thing so you can if you want to or you don't have to if you don't want to <laughs> I don't want um to give a shit. Now, I'm going to be fair. It does sound a lot worse than it actually is. It sounds is. horrible. It sounds horrible. I didn't say it was great. I just said it was significantly better than last time. That being said, it does, it does, the story flows better than it sounds. 
Um, I just can't believe Andra gave everybody the vax. And yeah, that's what <laughs> her and, and, and Keldor, Skeletor gave Tricked them. Tricked them into taking the vax, and that's what was And it had nanobots in it. It had nanobots. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that was very entertaining to me. Oh, my so God. So that's what happened. There it is. Make with it as she you will. She wants to run for president now. So um, I don't know what it was. Let's see what Rotten Tomatoes is saying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ironically. <It's shit. laughs> That's the rating. That's the oh official rating. It's I have shit. no control over this. I have no control. Over this. <laughs> I can't plan this. Oh my god! <laughs> what does Rotten Tomatoes say about D Man? It's shit. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, it's painful shit too. She's like crying. <laughs> She's like, I just wish it was over. I just wish the guy was say, over. When I was watching it. I was like, is it over yet? <laughs> it's been more than one time. So, um, it's supposed to be 93% critical, 58 audience. Of course, they're not letting you actually see how many. They're not letting you no. read the reviews. That's all locked down. You can't even take screenshots or pause the video. They have it set up that you can't even do that. We had to take a photo with a camera yeah, they, to present they, this to you. It used to be that you could use, uh, like Chrome, they had the DRM uh, protection or whatever, but because people were stealing movies, right? So they do that with Mozilla now too. You can't even, you can't even record the screen, which sucks. But uh, you know, I understand. I understand why they're doing it. I get why they're doing it. It just makes it very inconvenient to roast it when. It just <laughs> this year, like of all the ads. Are you looking? For, <laughs> are you looking for shit? While well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> believe that's what popped up. Oh my god, that's so funny. Um. So there, I watched it. You don't have to. I the I, animation is always looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Should have mentioned that at the beginning. Well, it's studios always. It looks really beautiful. Good. I mean, it, 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 you know, it yeah. looks, I mean, the animation's amazing. Um The character so here's the thing. Like, I actually have some of the, the revelation action figures because the character designs are good. They look good. The toys are good. That being said, I think Revelation, the first series, was their best shot at making masters of the universe relevant again for the mainstream. And they, they blew it more specifically. Kevin Smith blew it. Yeah. And I think even if it is good or well, better than the last season, and I, I still don't think it's as bad as it, it sounds worse than it is. That, that being horrible. said, that being said, you it did not isn't, sell me on this show. And at that, all. that being said, that's my notebook. Um, it's still not like 2002. Okay. But it's it's significantly improved, and you only have to deal five episodes as opposed to like two seasons and all this other shit. So it's a significant improvement. All this other shit. Like I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> like I said, the bar was very low. Um, so if you want to watch it, go ahead. It is, does not take long. It's only like five half hour episodes. Um, and I, I again, I just want to be fair. It is better, but it did not help. The behavior out of Netflix staff and Kevin Smith and their, and I think if they had said. If they had done more damage control and just an article and was it sci-fi or something, if they yeah. had gone out and been like, hey, look, we messed up. Well, we, we're gonna listen to we're gonna listen to the fans more. We plan on we were already taking into consideration. Hey, and we're sorry to the people that got thrown under the bus. Yeah, I think people, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I think people might be a little That'd more forgiving. Nice. If they admitted their they admitted their missteps and, and then and they admitted it in a place other than one article no one read. But let's. And let, even then, they didn't really admit to it. They just talked it. around it. I, I think what they're doing is they're basically dropping it and trying to bury it. And even if it is better, I think they know it's fucking over. Like they they fucked up beyond belief. It's over. The toys are on clearance. Nobody gives a shit. He Man's gone back to be, just being like a Maddie collector thing. And then they're doing freaking goofy ass Ninja Turtle He Man mashups because He yes. Man He Man is not enough himself. So we're gonna do. And then they're doing the. What are they little, doing this castle? I, that looks like the the castle, castle from lame the skull. no it looks the castle lame skull is that what you said? Put some googly eyes on it. Uh, that looks like kind of like the castle from from the uh, CGI show. With the googly eyes? I don't think it had googly eyes though. No. But, I want big, I want to I want to get an old castle, rip out the face, put um, golf balls with like indented uh, little like metal indents in them, and then call it you know, make my own googly eye castle. Stick some wings on it. <laughs> I, I think they're trying to keep it on the. I think they're trying to keep all the shit on the download. I think they don't want the controversy. I think they know well, that. All, that's all they get ahead of themselves because they're all expecting a lot of people to watch it. I don't think a lot of people are going to watch it. You had a couple hundred thousand views on this trailer versus nine million on the other. Like 
people and they're not they're not letting you see what the reviews are that's what i'm saying like once the damage is done it's done the same with disney star wars once the last jedi happened and all the drama around that 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 basically killed the franchise for most people that like they never went back some people gave it another shot with mandalorian but then they they screw that up too i think at this point he-man's dead to a lot of people and if you enjoyed it fantastic i'm happy for you a lot of he-man fans are because he-man's never been like in the last 20 years it's not like transformers where it's always there right and they always have some iterations like he-man's always been kind of relegated to the back burner as far as 80s friends so any anything any bone that he-man fans get even if it's a battle bone they're oh, like he oh had thank plenty god of we got some last new, time we got some new he-man oh thank god oh, we haven't got new he-man stuff in like 20 years you know yeah, so they're not letting. Actually, they're not letting. In, there is no revolution. I came in from something else that talked about that. No, it's revolution because the icons revolution. Yeah. So it's season two, but you're not. So this these okay, scores. Okay, series info. Do they have? Do they these, have? No, these scores are like the ones that they're they're counting it as part of the same show, and their scores have stayed the same. Yes, yeah, so and you, you want cannot to see... read any reviews, and That's you can't. Weird. There is no revolution. Yeah, only it's twenty twenty one the present. That's weird. That's weird. Hmm. But that is the that is revolution yeah. right there. I don't know. It's a lot of weirdness, and there's no, there's no toilet. Nah, it's too much belly fat. Okay, well. Can't get the toilet back. The toilet was priceless. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're going back, going back to where it all went wrong. Anyway, okay, we can wrap this up. We're gonna wrap this up. I, look, you haven't sold me on on giving it a shot. I, even if it's oh, you better, don't have to watch it. I mean, I, I, I understand completely. I, I mean, only did it. I, I only did it. I don't care. And honestly, that whole debacle with. The Kevin Smith shit caused us so much fucking problems, and it still causes problems to this day. That I don't even want to. I don't even fucking care. I'm not I giving just, it oxygen. I just, uh, I just did it because I, I just to follow through to wrap it up because I've been talking about it, and I knew you didn't want to, but that's why I didn't make you watch it. But I'll just tell you what happened. No, I was so. just gonna let it die out, but there it is. Well, so, it might die out worse now. So, okay, we done. Uh, we're done. We're so done. We'll I'm talk done. to you later. Bye. <laughs>